What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 46 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. This question gives us a table of the walking heart rate and running heart rate of 8 girls in beats per minute. And we're supposed to figure out, using the linear best fit model for the data, what the predicted running heart rate is of a girl whose walking heart rate is 100 beats per minute. So this question, the big skill that it deals with is making predictions from a line of best fit. So we're going to have to take all this data, use it to find a line of best fit, and then see, based on that line of best fit, where a walking heart rate of 100 would fit in. Now I'll go ahead and call these X and Y, because if I type it into the calculator correctly, that's how the calculator will read them. So let's actually do that, except that I already did that. I already typed my 66 and 72 and so on. Um, and I typed everything incorrectly, so now I'm going to press stat and edit. Nope, that's how I get back to the list. Stat and calc, and I go down to linear regression ax plus b. This is actually going to give me the a and the b that I need for this, uh, for this function that fits this data best. So I end up with y equals 1 and four hundredths x plus 58 and 84 hundredths. Now, at this point, we get to why I call the walking heart rate x. Because now I'm supposed to use this linear model to predict the running heart rate of a girl whose walking heart rate is 100 beats per minute. And since walking heart rate is x, that just means that I'm going to uh, plug in 100 for x in this linear model. So it will look like 1 and 4 hundredths times 100 plus 58 and 84 hundredths. So let me figure that out in the calculator. Nope. 1 and 4 hundredths times 100 is just 104 plus 58 and 84 hundredths is 162 and 84 hundredths. Now I'm going to compare that answer to my answer choices, and it looks like the number 163 is closest to the 162 and 84 hundredths that I got. So our answer is B. And again, we got there by plugging all this data into the calculator, letting it spit out this function, and plugging 100 beats per minute back in for x here, and it gave us about 163 beats per minute as a predicted running heart rate for someone whose walking heart rate is 100 beats per minute.